There's the war. Yellow and Teamsters. They're going at it. Two gangs fighting for money. Basically, Yellow wants more money from the Teamsters. Teamsters have already gave him money a few years ago, but it has been mismanaged by upper management. Who knows where the money goes? Yellow has been around for a long time. It's about a hundred years. They've gobbled up many other companies. During this process, it's hard to integrate all these all these companies into your existing company. There's many terminals that have been opened. They're redundant. They're not needed. So that 2020 money has gone to waste. It's gone to upper management and it's just been mismanaged. That's what the Teamsters are saying. They're saying, you guys don't do anything good with our money. We're not going to give you any more money. And Yellow is saying, it's your guys' fault. They're pointing fingers at each other. Yellow is saying, it's your guys' fault that our truck drivers, our 30,000 American truck drivers, are going to lose their, their jobs. They're, they're not going to be able to feed their families. They also have 9,100 non-union truck drivers. Yellow does. Basically pointing the finger at Teamsters saying, hey, give us money or these people are going to lose their jobs. Teamsters is saying, no, we gave you money already. So they've been doing this for many years. Everybody always says yellow's going to go bust and it never does. They always bounce back, but we'll see what happens this time. Look at the stock. Recently, it's just been crashing like up and down, up and down. It looks like it's on its last leg, but they've been saying that for many years. A lot of people are saying that let yellow go bust, let yellow go belly up, let them go bankrupt. Let them get eaten, gobbled up by other bigger companies because they're saying that it'll help the trucking industry. It'll increase rates. It'll make other companies wake up and, and look at their own company. And it'll, it'll make unionized companies, trucking companies, look at their company and, and try to be more competitive with the non-union companies. We'll see if, if Yellow goes bust and that's my chain of thought. Yellow Trucking Company is a huge company. It's been here for a long time, but it's facing a, a major battle right now. And they could cost up to 30,000 American jobs. The CEO of Yellow, Darren Hawkins, has said that the International Brotherhood of Teamsters is refusing to come to the bargaining table again. And the Teamsters is saying they don't want to because Yellow has mismanaged the money that they received a few years ago. But Yellow is saying it's Teamsters' fault because they don't want to come to the table and give us more money. So they're the ones putting our 30,000 employees in danger, including the 9,100 truck drivers that are non-union in the Yellow company. So like I said, Yellow has a, a lot of history in the industry. They've delivered freight for many, many customers for a long time across the U.S. But in recent years, a lot of union companies, trucking companies, have gone under because they're not able to compete with non-union trucking companies. They just go bankrupt because they can't compete. So the stakes are high for Yellow right now. And they're, they're about to collapse. So their business plan right now is frozen. They really need to make a lot of operational changes to survive. Again, this happened many times for the company. Uh, it's like a recession. It happens over and over, but the company's still kicking. If you look at the, the stock for the company, you can see that it was, it was doing well at the beginning, of course. And then it has all these spikes and it's going less and less and less and it's and then it looks like it's dying out but we don't know how many more times it's gonna pop back up it does seem like if it's gonna go away it's gonna go away now i could be wrong so they really need to make a lot of changes a lot of operational changes yellow has been around for a long time and they've gobbled up a lot of other trucking companies since they've been around so they need they need to make changes uh with those because with with taking in other companies, they're structured differently. There's a lot of complicated things you need to do to integrate them into the existing yellow company. Uh, some things they should change are 
are closing redundant terminals. They have so many terminals that closing a few that don't really need to be open should help. And just making better rules for, for drivers, uh, whatever that means. So, like we've been saying, Yellow's financial situation is really concerning right now. Yellow is in big trouble. They have $1.5 billion in debt. And a lot of lease financing obligations that they have. Unless they get bailed out again, we'll see. So, despite their efforts, they're unable to secure the bag, basically. They, they can't get more money, more lending from, from Teamsters. And there's a big repayment that they need to do. $1.3 million coming up that they need to pay. Also, the government has a 30% equity stake in yellow as collateral for the COVID relief that they received, which could be lost if the company goes bust. So on one side, yellow is saying that they're doing good. They offer competitive wages that their drivers make $65,000 and many others make up to over $100,000. They provide a lot of great benefits to their employees. But on the other side, the critics, the naysayers are arguing that upper management should take a lot of pay cuts um, to help the company survive, which would help. So Yellow's desperate, right? So desperate that they called Uncle Joe, uh, the president, Joe Biden, for help, for assistance negotiating with the Teamsters. Because the Teamsters don't want to come up with the to the table to give them more money. So the potential loss of 30,000 American trucking jobs is a big concern. And it should urge union leaders to come up and help the livelihoods of, of these American truckers. The backbone of society. That's what they're saying. That's what they're telling Joe Biden. So let's look at yellow. If, if it goes down and what happens if it goes down, okay? If yellow were to go belly up, were to go bust, under, broke, bankrupt, it would cause a big disruption in the short term. With 30,000 employees and 9,100 truck drivers, non-union truck drivers, would be left without jobs. So that would be hard on their lives, but... In the movie? A movie, yeah. Should I not walk through? No, you can go ahead. Okay. Yeah. You're the star <laughs> actress. Because 30,000 drivers without jobs, it would be hard for the drivers, but there is a flip side. It could be good for the trucking industry as a whole. Rates would go up. But since Yellow is struggling to compete with non union carriers, and this has been a recurring theme in the industry. And if Yellow were to go under and bust, it could make a lot of opportunities for other carriers, both union and non-union. So these other carriers can absorb the freight and contracts previously held by Yellow. So this will make uh, more competition. It'll be more competitive landscape in the trucking industry. And it'll push carriers to improve their wages and working conditions and attract more experienced drivers. In closing, there is a battle between Yellow Company and the Teamsters. They're going at it. Two gangs fighting for money. Basically, Yellow wants more money from the Teamsters. Um, the, team, the Teamsters have already gave them money a few years ago, but it has been mismanaged by upper management. Who knows where the money goes? Um, Yellow has been around for a long time, many, many years, about a hundred years. They've gobbled up many other companies. During this process, it's hard to integrate all these, all these companies into your existing company. There's many terminals that have been opened. They're redundant. They're not needed. So, a lot of money has gone to waste. Basically, all, a lot of that, that C money, that 2020 money has gone to waste, uh, it's gone to upper management and it's just been mismanaged, basically thrown away. That's what the Teamsters are saying. They're saying, you guys don't do anything good with our money, we're not going to give you any more money. And Yellow is saying, it's your guys' fault, they're pointing fingers at each other, 
each other. Ye Yellow is saying it's your guys' fault that our truck drivers, our 30,000 truck, 30,000 American truck drivers, are going to lose their their jobs. They're they're not going to be able to feed their families. They also have 9,100 non-union truck drivers. Yellow does. They're basically pointing the finger at Teamsters saying, hey, give us money or these people are going to lose their jobs. And Teamsters is saying, no, we gave you money already. So we'll see what, how it plays out. A lot of people are saying, okay, let, let the yellow company go bust. They've been doing this for many years. Everybody always says yellow's going to go bust, and it never does. They always bounce back. But we'll see what happens this time. Um, who knows as if you can look at the stock um, it's been doing well in the beginning but recently it's just been crashing over the years it's been like up and down up and down it looks like it's on its last leg a uh, few legs but they've been saying that for many years um, so a lot of people are saying that let yellow go bust let him, let yellow go belly up let him go bankrupt let him get taken up uh, by other companies get eaten gobbled up by other bigger companies because they're saying that it'll help the trucking industry it'll increase rates it'll make other companies wake up and, and look at their own company and it'll, it'll make unionized companies trucking companies look at the company and, and try to be more competitive with the non-union companies they'll make them look at their wages and increase um, driver benefits and, and all that stuff so we'll see if, if yellow goes bust they go bankrupt and I lost my chain of thought uh, yeah